Well, here we go then. I mean, if you look at it, absolutely mint condition. Not anything wrong with it, everything else. Okay, well, the, the case and everything else. Now, what happened was, they had a recall on these because they were burning people's house down, um, homes down. And you watch the television and, and they had a massive backlog and they couldn't fix them instantly. And I think we waited six months or something to have ours fixed. Now, they did offer to sell us another one and swap it for a new one, but we had to pay £50. It wasn't the £50 that got me. I just thought, you know what? You're trying to rip me off. I buy something in good faith from a British company and I expect it to be right. And if there's a recall, I expect them to change it or fix it. And we haven't really used it much because this hot point appliance here is a tumble dryer built in. So, you know, quite often we use that and it dries the clothes. And then if we've got a bit of a load on, we'll jump over to this one and get the old production line going. Well, anyhow, let me show you the problems. Now, let's open it up. Now, if you look inside, we have the clothes. Now, it tells you that you need to change the, uh, to, to uh, clean the filter whenever. Okay, whenever the light comes on. Now, in my opinion, if you do not vacuum it every time, it, it just since it's been modified, basically, they must have put some thermal cutout switch, and it just makes it unusable. We did complain after a month or so of having it that it just bloody wouldn't work, but they wanted to charge us this, that, and the other, and I thought, you know what? Stick it. I'm not fed up of it. We're going to throw it away. We're not even going to bother having it fixed. We're just going to throw it away. Now, here's the fault. Now, bear in mind, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not an expert on manufacturing tumble dryers, but I did spend 25 years making gaskets. So, you know, I think I probably do know a bit more than they do, okay? Now, if you look here, there's an actual lip. So, people say that clothes catch on it, and I, I don't buy that, because it's okay, okay? Now, you take the, the thing out, now it's not a very good seal, but it pushes down, okay? Now, you pull that out, now this is designed to catch all the fluff, okay? But well, and there it is. Just done a tumble dry. Bear in mind the stuff's still soaking wet so it hasn't worked. And I've let it build up on, on a go. Even though the light is not on, can you see the light's not on? So we've let it build up anyway, just for this demonstration. Now normally we wouldn't let it go to, because you can't bloody use it if you don't. Now, if you can see, a seal on here, it just fits in a snug fit. But look, look in here. Can you see all the fluff building up? Now that, that all that fluff in there, I'm looking at all the fluff in there, goes straight out over the heating elements and everything else, and that's where it could burn in the houses down. And Hot Point denied everything. Ah, oh, there's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with them here. Yeah. Well, they were forced to go around fixing them, where we waited six, nine months to get ours fixed. Anyway, let me pull it out. Now that there is designed to collect the fluff, right? Now, all right, some of this fluff here might be because the pipes come off as a, you know. But even so, if that filter was working correctly, there wouldn't be any fluff here because the filter is designed to catch it. Now, bear in mind the filter's there. We have never, ever run it without the filter. You'd be mad, okay? Now, let's have a look in the pipe with the filter on. Got all that lot. Now all that lot there is going straight over your heating elements and it's an absolute danger. Absolute madness. I mean, it is full to the gunnels. The fluff, all the way in. I mean, what a danger. Are you telling me that that is manufactured correctly? I don't think so. I really don't. You know, I'll tell you what, you're in got point. They want to charge you this, charge you that, charge you the other. Can I tell you what they want to do? They want to start making the products correctly. Now that's my first hot point appliance. Now I bought all these, yeah, hot point 
washing machine. But in fairness, that is okay. We haven't had any problem with that. Tumble dryer. A bag of rubbish since day one, pretty much. Okay. Hot point fridge. Can't fault that. Well, I don't think we've had any problems with that. Hot point cooker. <clears throat> Have a look at my kitchen doors. It's burnt that side and that side. There's the rubber seal running around it. You telling me they've manufactured that properly? I don't think so, do you? Now I know for 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 a fact, hot point. Do not want to know. So the moral of the story is watch the video, make your own mind up when you're purchasing something. And if you think hot point's okay and that is acceptable quality and service, go and buy one. If not, do what I'm gonna do. Go and buy yourself a melee or a Bosch or something decent. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Bye.